so far in our classes we had seen how to create a variable how to assign the value to the variable that is we have created this hello message and we had assigned the value and we had assigned this same variable to this bind parameter or the bind text component over here that is we had referred under the value variable dot hello message so whatever we had given the default value to the hello message it is showing it over here now what if we want user to input the message and that same message we want to show somewhere in the screen so we are going to learn same thing over here in this class now if you carefully observe that is the shell page over here in the shell page we are having just the header and the footer now you might ask me the question from where these things are coming like main and so on and so forth so this is the default page template which oracle uses whenever we create a new page suppose i will be creating one more page over here with the name main and the second let me just click on create so apart from header and footer what we have in the shell page oracle will be adding this thing over here that is it will add one image over here and above that it has created a placeholder where we can define the title of the page like i can tell this this is the second page like this we can populate the value so it can show also there is a slot over here on which we can drop the button something like this we can drop a button we can drop a number of buttons over here on the action so these are the placeholders which oracle has created now let me just go back to our topic that is getting the input from the user suppose if you don't like this boilerplate code what oracle has added we can simply remove this thing that is we can just remove and go to the design view so that we will see only the components which we will be working on the page suppose if we don't want to use the oracle's inbuilt template that is to have the actions that is the buttons and the page title we can remove completely by removing the fragment so for this also oracle has created a separate fragment that is apart from header and footer oracle has created a page header template or the fragment so using which oracle is populating in each and every page the same thing regarding fragments we will see in our coming classes like how we can create the fragment once and we can use in every page in our application now in order to get the input from the user there are a number of input components if you just search with input under the components palette you will see a number of things like if you want to get the date from the user there is the date component if you want to get the date as well as time there is a date tab now suppose if you want to get the number or the string there is a specific component for this as we are showing the message that is hello world i am interested in input text component that is over here you can drag and drop it something like this over here or we can make use of the structure and drop it so it is going to show the component something like this now you might ask that it has dropped the component side by side so if we want to show in one line the text component that is input in the other line hello world so this thing of customization or styling we will learn in detail in our coming classes so as of now for this class you just concentrate on getting the input from the user now if i click on this live mode here if you click we are getting the cursor that is it is asking user to enter the value i will enter hello world learners and tab out now whatever i type it is not showing over here now in order to fix this issue what we will do is first of all we will see this bind text is getting populated with which variable so this is the variable using which this bind text component is getting populated so whatever user has entered we need to map this value to this hello message then only it will reflect over here now in order to do this we have to select the input text again we can select the text or any component like this or we can make use of structure and select the specific component now here we can define the id so every component if you have worked with html every component in html is having a id using which we can uniquely identify that component in the html page so similarly id is available in visual builder as well suppose every person in a classroom is having a specific name so we can identify so and so students with their name similar like that in html or in visual builder we can identify each and every component with id so this is optional so it is always a good practice to name each and every component now let me name this as id input text that is the greeting as we are getting the greeting from the user next is it is showing the label hint suppose if you want to show at the beginning 
before the user clicks on this text box suppose i click on this if you want to show some label we can provide the name over here so in our case it is a greeting so that the greeting will show over here it is asking for the greeting next is coming to the data what and all user has entered in this component it will be stored in the variable which we will be using over here now in order to assign the value what user has entered to a variable we can click on this fx and we can search for the variable which we had created earlier using which our bind text component is getting populated so that is under page variables and the hello message double click this or we can just drag and drop it over here as well click on save now what we have done is what user is entering in this component it is getting saved over here in the hello message and the same variable we are using to populate this bind text parameter now let me change the message now here i will write learners hello world just tab out so it will reflect over here now what is happening is what user is entering over here it will be updated in this variable in the first class we had told that variables value will be changed in the web page as and when you develop your application now in this case what is happening is we are assigning the value to this hello message at runtime so at the beginning that is the assignment we are having a default value that is hello world so it is getting overwritten with what user has entered over here and the same will be displayed in the pen text so this is how we can make use of the variables we can make use of the input text component and we can assign the value to the components in the visual builder application so this is just the sample for your learning purpose that is how we can get the input from the user how we can map the input what user has entered to the particular variable and how we can use that variable to show the data in some component.